Happy social distancing. I'm Katherine McNamara. I know I'm going a little stir crazy. I'm sure you are too, but this is the time to get creative and to have a little fun in our home. Cosmo today to do their stir crazy challenge. I have to find at least five ingredients in my kitchen and make a cocktail that myself and others might enjoy. So let's see what I have in my kitchen. But the first and most important step is to wash your hands. Clean hands and saving on paper products. Let's see what alcohol I have. I have my Knocking Point wine partnership with Stephen Amell of Queens and Angels. Available now at knockingpoint.com. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here. What else do I have? Um, let's see, clearly I like whiskey. I have Jim Beam, coffee whiskey, Sassanac, some Gwen Levitt, which I think was a birthday gift from Dom Sherwood. A lovely bottle of Vogue. Oh, I do have tequila. I have tequila because I made margarita bars. I also have gingerbread and spice rum because I made rum balls. The majority of the alcohols I have come from my baking adventures. Is that maybe grandma? So I feel as though we could go about this one of two ways. I could find a bunch of random stuff and throw it all in chopped style and see what comes out. But I kind of learned my lesson doing that as a kid because before I actually knew how to bake, my grandma would just let me mix together whatever I wanted to in her kitchen and put it in the oven and see what came out. I learned my lesson. I've done some research. There's a drink called a whiskey seduction. I love the name. I think I can make this work. So it is red wine, scotch or whiskey, black currant liqueur, lemon juice, and maybe a couple garnishes. Then I'm gonna see what I can find. So let's see what's in my fridge. What do I have, what do I have, what do I have? Lemon juice. Look at that. Boom. Pineapple. I'm not sure how good it is. I don't have to smell it. All right. I've got some lime Perrier. Maybe that'll add some pizzazz. So I don't have black currant liqueur. Shocker. I know. But I do have blackberries and lime Perrier. I got a little sweet, a little tangy, a little citrusy, a little less alcoholic, but I'll throw some more scotch in there. It'll be great. Let's get mixing. All right, folks. Time for a little whiskey seduction. I need a vessel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bond with this one. I'm gonna shake, not stir. Look, jam jar. Perfect, has a lid, clumsy proof. Shots, anyone? And a little extra for good measure, this is good scotch. Now we'll take our of Queens and Angels red wine, add a little bit to the party. Do, 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 do. Actually smells pretty nice. Well, let's add the lemon juice for a little bit of tanginess. Not sure exactly how much lemon juice to add, so we'll just call it a splash. Is that a splash? Sure. Bubbly texture. I have these frozen blackberries, which in retrospect can be kind of like ice cubes. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna save one for a presentation later. I hope this is airtight. What is? Look at that. It's like a shake weight. Just as if shaken Perrier. I should have really thought this through a little more. Ah. Success. This was given to me as a white elephant gift. I've never quite known what to do with it, but my dear sippy cup, now is your time. That's a fun, fancy cocktail without a sugar rim. Pardon me, you're in front of my baking cabinet. Beautiful, it could probably be better, but. I'll clean that up later. Make the rim a little fancier. And there you have it, folks. My very own whiskey seduction. Thank you so much for joining me. Cheers. Actually, that's really lovely. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Thanks, Cosmo, for having me be adventurous. Thank you so much for watching me go stir crazy. Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo for more videos like this. My challenge to you is to make your own version of a whiskey seduction. Keep an eye out for The Stand on CBS All Access and Push. Cheers to you. Be well, be happy, be healthy, and wash your hands.